Hi, you guys. Big Four is starting to release their spring collections. You remember maybe a month or so ago, they did a bunch of early spring, and now we're getting spring spring. Um, so I'm really excited to see what they have. But this is Simplicity. Um, and before we get into this too much, I do want to call attention to those of you that may have missed it. But Mimi G, who is like the vice president of something or another over there, posted when this collection was released a couple of big news items regarding the big four. Um, she talks about extended sizing, that they have increased their sizing to a 34, and they will still be increasing it even further. But we're not going to start seeing that until their summer drop. So I don't... I think the already increase to a 34 is what we will see in the spring collection and then the increasing beyond that we will see in the summer collection. So that's very exciting. You can see they have this beautiful, gorgeous model here. Um, and then they also, she said, worked on changing the pattern envelopes to include finished garment measurements on the back and increasing the amount of sew-alongs to go with their patterns. So again, I'm not entirely sure how much of that is involved in the spring collection. We will find out shortly, I think. Um, but some really, really exciting, exciting news coming from them, seeing as we have all been saying this for so long now. More sizes, more like teaching type of things to help us through the patterns. And by gosh finished garment measurements on the back of the envelope so that we can properly identify our size while we are shopping for the pattern, know which pattern size to get, know how much fabric to get, on and on. So um, I just wanted to point that out in case any of you are not on Instagram or don't follow Mimi or whatever, because um, it's really exciting. So let's take a look at the new collection, um, starting with, I guess, a Mimi pattern. So this is a Mrs. Dress. Also, is anyone noticing like different fonts and this thing here? And this looks different, right? This looks different to me too. Um, can we zoom yet? Oh, Jesus, take the wheel, you guys. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I am freaking out over this. Okay. I don't know if you remember, you can go back to any of my <laughs> previous Simplicity um, pattern reviews, but you always had to like, it was a really odd Zoom experience uh, to see the photos. You had to like move it up and down manually. It was a mess. And it looks like they have updated that. She did not mention that in that post, but that is major, major. Okay. That's very exciting. <laughs> it's just the shopping experience was so bad before. Oh, I'm thrilled. Okay. So back to this dress. It is a Mrs. Wrap dress with a pointed collar, shaped side tie, and front drape. Ankle length dress view A has long sleeves with wide cuffs. Knee length dress view B features contrast collar. Short sleeves and bodice pocket. Designed by Mimi G. Follow her for sewing tutorials. Then we have our line art. If you just keep scrolling. And I don't see, normally they have line art, but also like pattern envelope, nice and big here. But that's not how they've designed this. Um, okay, so here is gorgeous photo. You can even zoom in even further, which you couldn't do before. And then you can scroll up and down manually if you want. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so like she said, it is kind of like a wrap front. Um, big kind of oversized collar, if I do say so, especially here at the front and the point. Drop shoulder, um, pretty large, uh, like billowy sleeve. There is some drag lines here, which I can only attest to it just being twisted. Maybe it's like too small on the wrist or something where it's buttoned. I don't know why it would twist like that. Um, I don't think she... Uh, Mimi would not have sewn the cuff on wrong. That just doesn't sound like her at all. But very wide cuff. She also always wears her cuffs really long. In my opinion, I would like it to stop more here. She wears hers really long though. But um, you've got your breast pocket here, like surplus, and then it wraps and ties. And then the ties themselves have a little bit of shape to them too, which is really cool. And then this is the midi length version. Little, maybe just a regular 5 8 inch hem there too. Love that. Some more views here. Side view. 
Yeah, this um, sleeve is draping to the front too. And I think this is just because she's turned to the back. She does that pose a lot, like the over-the-shoulder thing. Um, let's see if she does any straight on the back. It doesn't look like it. So, um, yeah, so here's this. And then she has her sew along there, I guess. Here's the line drawings. And then here is the um, back of the envelope. So it would have been nice to have this even bigger. I don't know. Um, but suggested fabrics are silky types, cottons, linens, poplin. And then a little bit of lightweight fusible interfacing. Um, so yeah, going for sort of that like mm, lightweight but structured kind of vibe. Um, some elastic. That It must be elasticated in the waist somewhere then, right? Um, three quarter yards of grow grain ribbon for the inside tie. So it is not a surplus bodice. It's like a true wrap. Um... So the elastic cannot be in the waist. Less than a yard of quarter inch. I don't know where that goes. But anyways, this one goes from size 4 to size 22. Here are our finished garment measurements. For the bust, we have a 36 and a half up to 51 and I can't read that. Maybe an eighth. And then the hip is 37 and a half up to 52. So... Clearly, this is not one of the, like, extended sizes, but still pretty decent. And I feel like maybe Mimi has always done a decent job of that. Yeah, so, I mean, it's cute. It's not anything I think I'm going to really remember. It's certainly not something I'm just like, oh, my God, I have to have. But it is really cute. Oh, this must be the plus size version. Okay. Yes. All right, great. So this is the plus size version, the exact same pattern. We can take a look at it on her body. You can see a little bit of cleavage, but that neckline is a lot wider on her, right? Doesn't it seem like so much more open? And then the sleeve looks decent in terms of length, but still doing the drags to the front. I cannot make heads or tails of why that is happening. Obviously, it's very loose fitting. It's not like it's tight anywhere. Do you all have any ideas? Yeah, really pretty. I love this waist seam. There must be elastic in there, even though it's um, like a true wrap. There must still be something in there causing that sort of blouson effect. But yeah, the neckline on that being so wide open is actually super flattering. I love that. Same line drawings. And then this is the extended sizing, remember? So we have an 18 up to 34, which equates to a bust of 46 up to 62 and 48 up to 64. Amazing. Amazing. Now, are we going to see this in every single pattern? I don't know. And then this one, the notions are different. This says you need a button. You need a full yard instead of the seven eighths of the elastic and then half a yard of the grow grain ribbon. But everything else is the same. Okay, cool. This view B, the more that I look at the line drawing, it, yeah, of course it's like, you know, that 70s vibe I'm getting, um, kind of retro, which is cool again. But yeah, again, I don't know if that is really something that I have to have. But you can see here on Mimi's neckline, much more covered up. Here, much more wide. And I'm not, not obviously sure because I can't look at the pattern itself, but I'm not sure if this was drafted at like a steeper angle you know, it just seems like hers may be filled in a little bit more, but you can also tell like what a drapier fabric looks like. And then this is more of like a cotton poplin, something a little bit more structured. Okay. Now we've got a little matching set. Sets are still happening. Matchy, matchy sets, um, top and bottoms that are made in the same fabric. Sometimes they're midriff bearing, sometimes they're not. Um, uh, but this is another Mimi pattern, obviously, since she's the model, uh, pullover top has puffed dolman sleeves finished with elastic at hems and back button closure. View B top features short cuffed sleeves, elastic at hem and open back with self ties. So two different tops and then mid calf skirt and mid thigh shorts have back zipper, hip yoke and sash. So it's two tops and either a skirt or shorts. Okay, got it. So this is the puff sleeve with the, the elastic. I was 
picturing something small, but it's actually really, really wide elastic. And then I think there's elastic in here too, kind of blouses a little bit. Also, I'm not sure if it's intended to have this like high-low situation, but maybe pulling to the back. But then you have this really wide waistband, um, which is nice. And then is this gathered in here? I'm not sure. And this is the short, right? Isn't that the shorts? Yeah, I think it is. Cute. Very wide opening on the short. The back is definitely longer than the front. Am I right? Is that just me? And then here are our line drawings. Interesting that they didn't even put an illustration of the skirt and the other top on there. I mean, granted, they're nothing like super exceptional, but this top I actually kind of like even more. I like both of these tops. I can imagine them being made in a variety of fabrics. We'll look at fabrication um, that they suggest here in a second, but um, yeah, I could see myself making this one for sure. But yeah, looking at the line drawings, for sure. Um, my imagination is kind of going a little bit wild right now, but um, so 60, wi 60 inch wide fabrics only. So you cannot use quilting, cotton. I mean, Joanne sells, um, fabric that's or like fashion fabric. That's 45 inches. So you have to stay away from all that, but cotton, gauze, linens, and silky types, um, for sure for the skirt and the shorts, I get that for that waistband to be able to stay on top stay up, but I think the tops you could really make out of even knit fabrics, right? I mean, there's nothing fitted about them whatsoever, maybe size down, but you could make it out of cute sweatshirting and then get some kind of like sweatpant jogger type thing and have a cute set that way. Um, or if you find, don't they have like, uh, like the art galleries and all of those folks who have the same print in multiple substrates that could also be really cool where you have like a sweatshirting top and then like a rayon bottom, but they're the same print. That would be so fun. Okay. So you need one inch wide elastic and then for a, okay, two. Okay. A lot for a, not as much for B one button for a, cause it um, closes in the back and then C and D both the skirt and shorts have an invisible zipper in the back. Um, what else? These are the body measurements. Oh, that looks nice here. One thing simplicity is still missing from the back envelope is the description. Um, maybe they will have it like on the flap in store. And of course on the website, you have it like on the front page of the website. But when you're like, after you bring this home, there's no description anymore. So you kind of have to either remember all the details yourself or, you know, go find the listing again. Um, but so you have your body measurements here and then we have finished measurements here. We have bust and hip. So 38, these are finished. So this is going to include design and wearing ease, just like it says here. So 38 inch up to 52 and a half. It's just a loose fitting garment. Same thing with the hip, 53 and a half up to 68 and a half. I mean, very, very loose fitting. Probably also why they have the body measurement chart on here as well, which goes from 29 and a half to 44 for the bust and 22. Well, that's the waist, which I guess is still very important. So this, the waist is the only part that's fitted. So interesting that they didn't include finished waist down here. Okay. Um, and then the hip is 31 and a half up to 46. And then the length of the top. Okay. It's cool, right? I like it. It feels fun. I don't know that I would go with the print this bold. Maybe that was what was initially not having me like ooing and aahing over it. But then I'm thinking back to that Simplicity collection a couple years ago where everything was a solid. <laughs> I don't want it to be that way either. Oh, okay. So this is this the same pattern we just looked at in the extended sizing. Um, so let's take a look at these photos. I mean, her, the way it fits her here is much straighter across, although we can't really see the back. So, and, oh, and this is the skirt version. So maybe that's what they did. They put Mimi in one top and the shorts and put her in the other version of the top and the skirt. You know, I, hmm, I see both sides of the, of having them separated. 
Ugh, but it would still be nice to be able to see them side by side. That way I'm not looking at Mimi's listing thinking something's missing and I'm not looking at this listing wondering about Mimi's listing, you know? Like maybe if they still had them separate in separate envelopes but and like sold them separately but in the online listing had all the photos together. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I'm just thinking out loud. But yeah, the skirt is really cool. Also, does the waistband on this look a little bit... Oh, wait, that's the waistband seam there, and this is the belt seam. Okay, got it. As you can see, the belt carrier kind of ends here. Love that there's a belt carrier there. And yeah, the back is definitely, like, hanging lower. Oh, I love that detail. I prefer that over a button closure any day. Any day. And then you have that pretty facing, too. Oops. Okay, got it. So, and then this sizing, body measurement wise, is 40 to 56 in the bust and 42 to 58 in the hip. And then obviously with the finished garment measurements, it goes, you know, a foot or so beyond that because it's so loose fitting. Okay, cool. Cute. So, those are the two Mimi patterns for this release. Now we. Now we move into in-house designs. This is a button front dress with tucks on the bodice, bust starts, and pleated skirt. Lace trim is sewn on top of garment with underside of fabric trimmed away. That's an interesting thing to call out here. Um, dresses come in two lengths with or without trim and with two sleeve variations. So, yeah, it's the like little, oh, that's why they said that. It's not very clear the way that they verbally explained it, but what they're trying to say is that all of this lace trimming is see-through. Maybe there was a better way to say that. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, it's still very much that kind of prairie vibe. Um, I guess that's still happening. I don't know. Have we seen a lot of that out and about? It's got the ditzy little print and then, yeah, all the little white lace trim. That's the version that she's wearing. Lots of details here. So we've got the drop shoulder pin tucks, bust dart, button placket, square neckline, waist band, and then all the like tiers or whatever you want to call them. There's a little short sleeve version, which is really the same. It just doesn't have that other sleeve attached, just the grown on part. Pretty Easter dress maybe. And you just get the one view with or without the sleeve, with or without the trimming. There you go. Oh, and then back of the envelope, chambray, cotton blends, cotton lawn, gingham, linen blends, poplin and shirting. Yeah, they're going for like more structured fabrics. I think both to hold up to the pleats of the skirt, but also to hold up to the sort of uh, the lace with no backing. You have to be able to sew the lace into something that's going to hold the lace there if there's no backing behind it. So, finished measurements, A, B, bust, waist, hip, amazing. Um, so, the bust is fitted 35 to 45 and a half there. The waist is 27 and a half up to 38. And then the hip is very full, so that's almost negligible. Love it. 11 buttons, 7 and a half yards of 2 inch white lace trim, 5 and a half yards of three eight to one half inch trim to accommodate all of that fun trim gets expensive though that's the only thing I hate about it and because they're putting it on the hem of that skirt that's why it takes up so much okay so I'm thinking that only Mimi's patterns have the extended size range and I'm wondering if the for the summer collection it's still only going to be her so I mean Yes, although she represents simplicity, I kind of was under the impression that, I mean, what does it say exactly? VP of the big four was to extend sizing. So it made it seem to me that it would be extended across the board, but it doesn't look like it. It just looks like they allowed her to extend her sizing, but in-house wise, it's still the same. But I guess progress is progress, you know, and... I know everything in the big four is slow moving, so 
maybe we will get there. Um, but a start is a start, right? All right, midi or knee length dresses have front boat neckline and gathered shoulder straps at back, fitted drop waist with optional decorative top stitching and gathered skirt and two lengths. Front bodices are lined. Bodices are lined, nice. I'm interested to see this gathered shoulder strap that they speak of. It's hard to tell with this little print, but I love a bateau toe neckline so much. Pretty little shoulder line. It's got like a lot of like volume and ruching and then a, a gorgeous like underbust seam. And then from here all the way past your belly button to your upper hip really um, is a big wide waistband and then a gathered skirt into that. I think that could be really beautiful, especially in a fabric like a sateen or something. Um, there are shaping lines through here. I guess technically you could add boning into that and make it more of like a corseted take on it. Um, but also, you know, if you made it in a fabric that was like sateen where you, it like held you in, but it had some give to it, it could work similar to like how Spanx or something does. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know, maybe be a little bit more slimming. I, I don't know. I think initially, we're, or if you would have tried to explain this to me, I would have thought, oh no, that can't be good. But I could be convinced otherwise, I think. There's the same thing in a print, I think. I don't see a difference. Oh, the necklines or the neckline? Oh, that back is gorgeous. No, all the necks are the same. So just maybe different links. That's what it is. Look at that stunning back. I, I'm real. I like this. This is different to me. You know, I'm always talking about basics with a twist, right? And this is one of those that you don't see very often, you know, and at this point in my sewing, like I have been sewing for so long, I have so many iterations of dresses and nothing that looks like this. So here's the optional top stitching that they talked about that would reinforce that seam as well. Again, you could find some really lightweight boning. Um, to put in there too, which would also, again, act like, more like a corset. But I love the back of this. And even if you didn't want to do this band, you could take everything from here and leave it the same. Or drop this line down, but then that might affect this. I was thinking maybe you could hack it. it the hack actually wouldn't be that simple. I don't know. I just love the back so much. I love how the front is so covered and the back is like not. Okay. Batik calico, chambray, cotton prints, gingham. Oh, gingham would be gorgeous. Linen blends, poplin. There's the sateen I mentioned and seersucker. And then lining. So the remember the whole bodice is lined. So depending on like what kind of lining you chose that could also act as a little bit of a I don't want to say it's like shapewear but you know what I mean it also might be cool to do like the bodice and skirt in like your one of these fabrics but then do the midsection in like a ponte or you know what I mean like it'd be contrast but it could still be really cool again this one has my creativity going um, one 14 inch invisible zipper, seven yards of elastic. I don't know that you need a 14 inch zip. Well, maybe from the middle back you do. Uh, body measurements and then finished measurements for the waist only 26 to 35 and a half. But they have body measurements for throughout. The skirt is really loose fitting, so you could fudge that, but it only goes up to an 18, six to 18. That is like very restrictive sizing, considering the other ones went up to 22. But you do have the princess seams and the side seams, so you could, I mean, you could make it work, but again, that's not the point, right? All right, next up we have, oof, this little number. <laughs> Um, again, I think maybe they're going for like an Easter vibe, mother of the bride vibe, dare I say. I don't want to make this sound like it looks matronly, but it kind of looks, it looks very first lady. 
So we've had a lot of young first ladies. Um, and not some not so young. <laughs> it's very like, yeah, presidential. Um, fitted line jacket has asymmetrical closure with contrast binding and three quarter or long sleeves. Full skirt with front pleats. Has high low hem and back zipper. Straight skirt has back vent and zipper. Okay, so we've got a crossover asymmetrical jacket. Three quarter length sleeve, beautiful little fitted sleeve here with a little baby sleeve cap. Love that. Piped or bias bound situation in contrast fabric. We'll see if they have any darting of any kind when we get to the line drawings. Then you have some kind of skirt with a high low hem. Remember, the wrong side of your fabric will show, so keep that in mind. So there is princess seams through here. There's a printed version. Here's our skirt as pleats and then a very, very small, narrow waistband. And then also a pencil skirt. It doesn't help that, you know, they put her in a bun with these, like, you know, stud earrings. And, like, she's not, she's got to be in her 20s still. Pearl necklace, you know what I mean? Like, they were, they were going for a vibe. And I think the vibe is mother of the bride type thing. Here is, now this looks very similar. It is very similar. So is this, maybe I spoke too soon earlier when I said only Mimi had the extended size range. Because this is the exact same. So this is the long sleeve version of the jacket with the pencil skirt. And it just occurred to me that we didn't even look at the back pattern envelope on the last one, nor the line drawings for that matter. Oh, also have fisheye darts in the back, okay. So this one is 18 to 32, so yes, okay. I did misspeak earlier, I apologize. I got a little ahead of myself, which I've been known to do, that's fine. Um, fabric suggestions are linen, poplin, crepe, cotton blend, silk, and brocade, and then you have your lining fabric as well. A little bit of lightweight fusible interfacing, shoulder pads, which don't be scared, they're only half an inch. That's what created that beautiful shoulder line I was mentioning before. Two buttons and one invisible zipper if you're gonna make one of the bottoms. So the finished garment measurements uh, for the top, or the jacket, is 41 and a half to 55 and a half. The waist of that skirt, or either skirt, is 35 to 49. And oh, that's the waist of the of the jacket, which is a little bit more loose fitting, the waist of the skirts or the bottoms are 33 to 47, and then the hip is 44 to 58 for D, but they did not give the hip of C, because I guess it's kind of negligible, like it doesn't really matter. I get that. Okay, so 18 to 32 on that one. So now I have to go back to the other one. This is this is what I mean when I say it gets a little bit complicated to have them separate. But again, I see both sides as to why it's nice to have both. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah. Going here and then here and then here. So this is, remember, the other one was eight started at 18. So this does overlap a little bit. Granted, the extended sizes start at a different block so it's going to fit differently than like an 18 fits different than an 18w but this is 6 to 24 sure would have loved to see that on that last dress we looked at um but for example the waist or the hip measurement on the skirt the fitted skirt is 36 to 51 versus uh 36 to 41 versus 44 to 58. So again, definitely some overlap. If you're like, if you have a hip of, you know, 41 to 44, what are you supposed to do? That's like two inches of people. And I guess you size down. That could get complicated. So that's an interesting thing to consider. Plus two, you know, if you're like deciding between two patterns, you have to go back and forth like I just did. Maybe it would be nice if they just had like a little link to say, check out the other size, you know, just something to make it a little bit easier. 
All right, you guys have convinced me to start looking at these vintage patterns, even though I'm not 100% certain I'm ever gonna sew one and they normally always trip me up in terms of like how they're constructed or how you get into them, but they are fun and cute to look at. So we are gonna take a quick look at the like re-released, -re it's like the Taylor's version of Simplicity Patterns. If you know Taylor Swift, you'll know my reference. Okay, uh, back zip sundress has boned fitted bodice trimmed with bias fold trim four gourd mid calf length skirt and large flat pockets. Wow. Um, trimmed with bias cut bias trim cut of dress fabric. Sundress has matching belt and can be made with or without shoulder straps. Short bolero with single button closure. Of the neck has short kimono sleeves with bias cut cuffs. Okay. So mostly here we can see this little bolero with little curved, situation happening cuffed grown on sleeves and your one button and then you have your belt and then there's supposed to be gores in this skirt I'm not necessarily seeing them and then these humongous pockets look at her that's the strapless version but look at this seaming center front seam and then this is where your bust starts live how cool is that what is this on her hand 1950s yeah I'd say so I guess by gores they mean panels right if there's center front seam and a center back seam and side seams is that what I thought a gore maybe I'm getting a gore confused with something else I thought gores were like triangle shaped or does it not matter Yeah, this is really pretty. I have a, one of my very first dresses had this little detail. Very vintage, very sweet. I made it in a purple gingham. It was awesome. Okay, so chambray, PK, linen, gingham, seersucker, lightweight denim, shantung, fa, fail, taffeta, and crepe. Interfacing with lightweight fusible or muslin. Zipper, hook and eye. Boning. Oh, I forgot it was boned. Um... Rounded shoulder pads are optional. Yeah, a lot of fabric, up to four yards. Six to 22 is the size range. And finished bust is all we're going to get here. 32 to 45 and a half for the dress. And then a little bit roomier for the bolero. All right, next we have... These also 1950 blouse and skirt. Now this I can get behind. Fitted blouses have a side zipper. Collared blouse has V neckline, short cuff sleeves, an optional necklace applique with beaded and embroidered details. That sounds. Did we make that ourselves? Bato neck blouse has three quarter sleeves with elbow gathers. And ribbon trim, side zip, full tiered skirt, and mid calf length has waistband with hook and eye closures and optional ribbon trim. Okay. I mean, you pretty much have to buy like a crinoline to wear with this, right? Is that all we get in terms of pictures? Wow, we get that and then that. <laughs> okay. Either way, here are the line drawings. So gorgeous, very fitted top. I mean, you have these darts here and like sort of modified, not total fisheye darts, but like curved darts. What would that be called? Um, in the back, I love the cuff and how it kind of flares away. I love, like, look at the neckline. It's like, I, I don't know, flat overlapped. <laughs> like that looks really cute. And then this, is this not purchased? We'll look at the notions here in a second. But yeah, very, very fitted. And then this sort of looks like a crinoline, to be honest. I missed this, but that is such a cute detail. You know I love bows. Should I start just jacking on bows wherever I can? Um, and you can tell how gathered this is because there are center front seams in both, well, this middle tier is four pieces, but this one I think is two, four, six. So yeah, lots and lots of fabric, I'm sure. 
Let's take a look. The blouse is one and seven eighths and the skirt is four and a half. Yeah, saw that coming. Okay, cotton types, rayon types, silk, shantung, linen types, also in chalet and crepe for the skirt, lightweight, fusible, or muslin. Zipper, shoulder pads, literally beads and embroidery thread. Yes, yeah, so you literally bead that necklace on yourself. That is incredible. I want to get this, I guess, just for that. I don't know what I'm doing. I would not know how to embroider beaded anything. But it sounds like a fun adventure. <laughs> ribbon, zipper, hook and eye. We already went through those. More ribbon. Okay. Finished measurements, A and B. So this is the bodice of the top, 36 to 49 and a half. The skirt waist is 26 to 39 and a half. And then the finished width of A and B of the top can sort of somewhat act as a hip measurement, even though it doesn't go down to your full hip. Um, you can measure yourself at your high hip and compare it against this, which is 34 and a half up to 48. How fun. That was a good one to bring back. All right, now we've got, oh, another one. Mrs. Blouse, direct from Simplicity Archives, this 1940s pullover blouse with underarm gussets, has elasticized neckline and tiny puff sleeves. Trim options include ruffled lace or eyelet and ribbon bows or flat braid or ribbon. Blouse can be worn on or off the shoulders. So yeah, we've seen this a thousand times and ready to wear. Here is the pattern version. The bows are a little, you know, Mary had a little lamb. But it is cute. That sleeve is adorable. Okay. Oh, was not expecting the line drawing to look like that. But yeah, I guess that's what it looks like. These arm gussets are so interesting. Again, construction wise on these vintage patterns is always stumping me because I didn't grow up sewing. So I don't have any knowledge of a sewing pattern prior to like 2010, maybe. So some of this stuff, I'm like, I have never seen that before. When back in the day, I guess it used to be super popular. I don't know. Um, cotton types, linen types, chalet, gingham, calico, dotted Swiss. Oh, that would be so sweet. Um, a lot of elastic. Bias tape. And then, uh, yeah, all your trimming if you decide to do that. Um, it's really kind of like less than two yards for every size. So that's nice. And then bust, it's pretty loose fitting. So 45 and a half up to 60 inches on the finished bust. And four to 22. So they get the extra size on the low end on this one. Okay, now look at this cute top. So cute. V-neck pullover top in two lengths has options for puff sleeves. Sleeveless or long sleeves with elastic at elbow and wrist. Top of bodice has gathered detail and optional purchased trim. Okay. And I think this is the purchase trim. How do you get that to match this? You're buying it all in white and dyeing it together? Interesting. Okay. Also, I have a thought about this. This little gather detail that's here. Theirs looks pretty good. I have a pattern is it that jumpsuit that I made um where it has like a detail like this um and it ends up pulling the arm side over as well this doesn't look as bad like there was enough ease to get the gathers like it was supposed to um but I see that and it makes me think of that other one and I kind of get annoyed that it pulls the sleeve so much but either way this seersucker is super cute little puff sleeve is adorable with the band on the bottom and then, yeah, I'm pretty sure either they found matchy-matchy fabric like this or obviously, you know, uh, what's it called? Uh, border, border print or border, 
eyelet, whatever. Um, but it said purchase trim, so we'll see about that. We also have this sleeve here. And then that's got to be a border print. Maybe this is what they meant by the purchase trim? Let's see what they say about fabrics. It's a cute little top. For sure. Um, I don't, I think I kind of thought I was over peplums, but maybe I'm not. So batik, chambray, cotton blends, gauze, gingham, linen blends, poplins, and shirtings. Those are all normal. Not one mention of a border print or anything. Notions. Elastic. Elastic. Braid. And single fold bias tape. So the purchase trim is just the little quarter inch trim we saw on the neckline. So they just chose to use these border prints or these like border embroidery stuff and then just didn't say that. Which I know what that is and maybe you do too, but there's a lot of people out there who would be like, how did they get that to be like that? They wouldn't know what to look for. Finished measurements. Also, I mean, top A with the sleeve has, you know, kind of a bit of fabric. But if you go down to little bitty C here, it's like a one yard wonder. Um, finished bust, 37 and a half to 49. And then the width, which again, you can kind of use as a hip measurement, but also wouldn't really matter because it's so loose fitting. 58 to 69 and a half. I would have liked to see her from the back. I mean, you got her there. Oh, wait, here she is. JK. <laughs> oh, goodness. Um, okay, yeah, it actually does fit pretty well through the back. I was concerned because there's no dirts or anything, but it's fine. It looks good. Okay, I'm going to focus and pay more attention to the next one, I promise. Is it this lady? Where are we? Yeah, okay, we're here. Oh, this one's real cute. Baby doll. I'm getting the baby doll vibes again. I feel like we were just there and then they all went away. But yeah, this one's cute. Pullover tops and two links are gathered into tucked yoke, shorter top stops at high hip and offers ruffled neck and sleeves. Longer top has loose gathered sleeves above elbow length. Both have tie front bow. Oh, I see. I like this. With the little trim detail, that's cute. And then this one, this is the shorter length, but I, I like it. I like the shorter length a lot. This is cute. And then this one's different too. This, what's going on here? Are these the gathers and then you just have a longer sleeve? Oh, love it in gingham. That's the version she's wearing. So the sleeve is different. And this must also be the longer length, too. I wish they gave some indication of how long, long was. You know? Like, they don't even have them side by side. It'd be nice to have the fronts up top and the backs on the bottom, so at least you could have some reference for how much shorter. But I don't think it's a lot shorter. And how cute would it be to extend it to a dress anyways? Love that. All right, Batiste, Chalet, Cotton Lawn, Crepe de Chine, Gauze, Gingham, Lightweight Linen Types, soft, Silky Types, Soft Chambray. All of the, this whole spring collection, mostly all the fabrics have been woven. And somewhere in that light structure, light drapey, light side of medium weight situation. Um, then we have... Again, top B, a little one yard wonder. You can eke out that quarter of a yard somehow. I might even say an eighth. I can't read it. It's way too small. Um, finished bust. Very loose fitting. We have the 4 to 16 size range, which I don't even understand. But um, 52 to 60 and a half inches. And then the width for... A, which is the high hip version, 53 and a half to 62. And then the B width is smaller in the lower sizes and larger in the larger sizes. That may, Oh, no. 
it's a half inch narrower. Why would that be? Maybe these got swapped on accident. Or, oh no, A is the long one. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. A is the long one, B is the short one. So it makes sense that A would be slightly larger than B at the hem. Okay, got it. I guess that's how you guys can tell this is truly a first impression and I'm not <laughs> cheating in any way because I get so tripped up on some of the small details sometimes. Okay, this is top and tunic. Top and tunic have gathers at front neck and sleeve caps. Back closure has buttons all the way down the back. Blouse has sleeve and hem variations. I mean, upon first look, it's not super impressive. It's very long in the shoulder and then loose all through here. Like she has no shape from her waist up there she could we have no idea um it does not look like these drawings the drawings even say that there is a bus start but I don't know what it's starting the linen version with these little okay that's kind of cute I like that sleeve it just feels really big in the uh upper in the from the waist up on her maybe it's just the sample that was made. Maybe it's strapped in that way. I don't know. But then here are the buttons all the way up. I, I get the idea of buttons all the way up, but I don't ever know how you get yourself buttoned into this thing. Maybe if you just leave the bottom, let me start the top one undone. You can slip it over your head and then button the top yourself. But certainly if any of these other ones come undone, you're kind of screwed. But what are the bus starts for? Like, what are we... We're not providing any shaping. So... You know what I mean? It's almost too loose fitting to have bust arts. Shally crepe wall, cotton blends, double Georgette. So yeah, lightweight silkies, um, buttons, buttons, elastic. Finished bust. So this goes from six to 22. And the, yeah, there's five and a half inches of ease in the bust alone. That's very loose fitting, very loose fitting. And then in the waist, 10 inches, no, a foot, no, 10, <laughs> not very good at math, 10 inches plus um, in the waist. And then they don't say anything about the, they have the body hip, but, oh wait, is this it here? Yes. Okay. Sorry. So hip 32 and 36. So three and a half inches there and these are all obviously on the low end but I think it matches on the high end too so six ten and then three I, I don't know I'd rather see something like three ten six <laughs> um so yeah that one might just look it might be one of those that you know how they get a lot of criticism for making patterns. You make them and then they you're just like drowning in it. This might get a lot of flack for that. And then this is the extended size version of that same top. Does it look any better on her? I mean, that sleeve certainly helps. Because now you're just getting like an all around loose fitting situation. I think, I don't know. Again, even she, who probably is very curvy, you still can't tell, make heads or tails of what's happening underneath the blouse. And yes, I get that some people want that, but that is not what is pictured here. I mean, this, you can, this has a shape to it and those other ones do not. So when it doesn't match, when the sample and the illustration don't match, that's when I get a little bit like frazzled. <laughs> also why it's important to have illustrations but also to have models wearing your clothes too I mean sometimes we see these big four patterns and they only have drawings like the vintage patterns for example we don't know how those fit regular people but all the same line all the same line drawings same design um, she has a longer version on and it looks like you get an extra button or two on the longer version and then I want to see if the ease is the same. Bust is 40 to 6 and a, Yeah, 40 to 6. Yeah, it's the same. 
it's the same, but it does go up to a 16 and a half inch finished. 18 to 32. Okay. Next, we have Mimi and her husband Norris unisex shirt in two lengths. Oh, this is kind of cool. Relaxed fit button front shirt in two lengths has banded collar and oversized front pockets. Back has yokes, box plate, and loop. So I'm getting like, you know, if jackets were going to be around in spring, this is what they would look like. It's like a spring jacket. I love his raw hem. That's so cool. Um, and he did his pockets on the bias, well, as did she. So I'm guessing it's designed that way. Also, this back yoke is done on the cross grain. So lots of fun details that you can do with stripes and fabrics here. That's exactly how I would wear it with leggings and sneakers. Yep. Yeah, super cool. It could even really be a dress. I mean, it could. Yeah, it would be a fun foray into shirt making because just when you've like reached your limit in terms of patience with the collar and maybe even the front band with regular shirts, now you have to contend with sleeves. But this one, you don't. It also reminds me of, isn't there a closet core pattern similar to this? I'm getting kind of those vibes from it too. Oh, shoot. What's it called? Closet core. Hmm. I feel like I've made it, but I can't remember. So alphanumeric sizing on this one. Um, we have size 30 up to 52. That gives us finish bust and chest measurements of 40 up to 60 and a half. Um, so it looks like in this kind of sizing. Yeah, I may be like medium, large, extra large. I may be going to something like this. So kind of right smack dab in the middle. Yeah, that's cute too. I like that one too. Mimi's killing it this time around. I think we are almost at the end. We have a, ooh, Mrs. Top and Skirt. Look how cute this is. Not for everybody. I get it, but let's take a look. Lined crop top has princess seams, button front straps, and separating invisible back zipper. Wrap skirts have flounce variation, large side front pocket, and button closure. I am big on TikTok right now. Big into it. I mean, I'm not big on it. <laughs> but I watch it a lot. And somehow I have found myself following a ton of Gen Z like fashion TikTokers. And they would just flip for something like this if it was sold at a boutique for a hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Um, so why not make it? And if you want to be a little bit more modest, you can always lengthen this top. No big deal. Add a little peplum, do your own thing. But the design of it is actually quite cool. You have princess seams. These act as kind of like um, overall type closure. That's fun. You've got a decent sized waistband, asymmetrical with the buttons, asymmetrical with the one big pocket, and this huge like flounce or ruffled skirt on the bottom. I think it's really cool. There's the back. I mean, I think that was supposed to be an invisible zipper. <laughs> Maybe they just kind of rushed to get it done. I don't know. That looks a little bit sloppy, but... Um, yeah, fits her well. I don't know how I would fare with this pencil skirt here, but, um, you could always swap it out for a full gathered skirt too, I guess. But it's cute. I think it's cute. Try not to be like totally distracted by the crop top. Like I said, you can lengthen it or make adjustments or swap it out for a t-shirt or whatever. The skirt is really cool. I forgot to look at everything again. Um, this, okay. So chambray, cotton blends, gingham, lightweight denim, linen blends, sateen, seersucker, and stretch wovens. Did it have denim in there? Yeah, denim would be super cool. Um, buttons, 
separating zipper. Oh, separating zipper. Duh. That's how do you zip that? You have to, I guess you put it on toward the front and then turn it around and flip it up. Ew, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Maybe those Gen Z girls wearing the crop tops are more flexible in their shoulders or something. I don't know that I could do that. Hold on, let me sit up. No, you can't do that. Yeah, I can barely unclasp my bra, which is why I wear bralettes now. That ain't happening. I don't have a dresser, you know, I don't have somebody coming and putting these clothes on me. Oh, goodness. All right. Um, yeah, well, it doesn't take a lot of fabric, as you can imagine. Um, the pencil skirt doesn't either. And then the, the one with the ruffle, obviously, a little bit more. But, oh, we have separate bus bust cups on the crop top, which that's nice. So you have like 32A up to 48D, 48.5D, so that's nice. The waist on the skirts, 24.5 to 40, and then the hip is 37 to 52.5. So because this goes up to 24, I could technically make this. Um, I'd be jumping all around sizes, but... Um, the 24, well, I fit into a 22. So as long as it has a 22, I'm good. But if I wanted that extra wearing ease, I probably would need a 24. So good, big, chunky size range there. And then we have this, which you guys know I'm going to flip for. Because I don't know what it is about like a loose fitting jumpsuit, but they just have my heart. They do. I just, they are so comfortable. I know every single time I mention how much I love jumpsuits, you guys are like, I'm not getting naked in the bathroom. Well, like I just mentioned, I wear bralettes. Bralettes are basically tank tops. They come down to my belly button. So I don't feel naked in the restroom ever. Um, I have no problem, no problem disrobing <laughs> if I need to. Um, but the good news about this one is it's a dress or a jumpsuit. So we have a band collar button front dress with three quarter length bat wing sleeves. Love that for spring. And elast elastic gathers at the wrist. Mini dress has curved hem with wide hem facing. That's this here. And midi dress has straight hem. Ankle length relaxed fit jumpsuit has side seam pockets. Okay. So we've got the whole like safari vibe going, right? With the pleated pocket and the drawstring and the little mandarin collar, bat wing, loose fitting. Love everything about it. A little funny in a floral. I'm not sure if I would have added the pleated pocket in a floral, but nonetheless. Um, here's the mini skirt version with this curved hem. So cute. I love the deep hem band. And then you have your jumpsuit there. I kind of hope the jumpsuit would be a little bit wider in the hip. I mean, not impossible to make happen for yourself, but let's see how different the, um, you can just, I kind of tell by looking at it, how much wider the skirt is at the hip versus the pant. Um, batik, chambray, cotton blends, gauze, gingham, lightweight denim, and linen blends. For sure, linen blends, also like um, uh, rayon twill and things of that nature for the jumpsuit. Uh, elastic buttons. All right, so the hip, they're saying the hip for C and then not giving us a hip for B. Oh, but they're giving us a width for B? Hmm, not the same. As you can tell, because it's 91 and a half. Um, yeah, not the same. So, but C's hip, the pant, the finished hip of the pant has five and a half inches of ease. I thought it would be cool to have like double that, which again, you can make happen. No big deal, but when I saw the skirt, I kind of thought that's how it would be drafted. This is just a normal, this doesn't, this jumpsuit is not what I imagined. I imagined it to be loose. Like if this were shorts and it had this much width in the 
thigh. I'm kind of thinking back actually to Mimi's little crop top and shorts pattern and how wide those short leg openings were. Something like that, which I guess you could mash them together. But the dress is cute. The mini dress is really adorable. Did we ever see her with like shoes? Did they show her styled that way? No, they must have hated them. Yeah, no. They must have not liked however that came together. Okay, so last couple here. Another jumpsuit dress and jacket. This might be more like what I had in mind. This is also giving me like, who was it? The um, first impression we just looked at ND pattern wise and she had that enormous jumpsuit. It had like a little bit of a fitted situation like right at the upper bust, but it was like super loose everywhere else. This is also Elaine Heigl. Have we ever heard of her before? I don't know. It might be new. Let's see if we can find out any information about Elaine. So she's used to making accessories and toys. Interesting. Okay. Easy fitting jumpsuits have and dress have elasticized back. Crop length jumpsuits can be made with wide straps and patch pockets or tied shoulder straps. Super cute. Knee length dress has tied shoulder straps. Kimono style jacket has wide elbow length all in one cuff sleeves and a high low hem. Okay, so let's see what we've got going on here. Um, well, center front obviously seam here, big patch pockets. Maybe not the best fitting through here. I don't see a dart. Maybe that's why. And then it's hard to tell, but it might be a little long in the crotch. It's kind of what I had in mind. This one looks a lot better for some reason. The drapier fabric, maybe. Or also, I bet they tied up the straps so this is a little bit higher up on her. Let's see if the necklines look the same. The necklines are totally different. So yeah, maybe the adjustable straps of it all kind of helped with that. This is kind of cool. A little fun thing to throw on. This is the elasticized back. Yeah, you know, again, it's like close, but not, well, like I said, this one's a little bit better. What is this set? <laughs> Maybe it's like she has a studio that's separate from where Simplicity normally takes um, pictures. I don't know. But it's like the grass carpet for me. that <laughs> I'm just like, wait, what? Um, I mean, who is this for? Is this being marketed to the same customer as the rest of Simplicity? Or is this like a little bit younger, like preteen, teenager type? The line drawings do make it look super cute. So maybe it's worth trying and nipping and tucking here and there to figure out how to make it look its best. I don't know. Uh, cotton types, linen types, rayon, and chali. Um, <laughs> the dress, jacket, jumpsuit. Yeah, all reasonable in terms of yardage. Finished bust has, oof, nine inches of ease. The, and then they only give us width. So only getting the finished bust. Okay. Well, if there's nine inches in the bust and it's kind of like an A-line shape, you can imagine it only flares out from there. That could be part of the problem, the nine inches of ease in the bust. That's a lot. Um, yeah, that's a lot. Okay, so that's where I would start. <laughs> Reducing the ease in the bust for sure. Um, now, that makes me wonder though, are they including the cinched in part of the elastic in the back? Maybe not. 
And so then naturally, if you don't have the elastic in there, obviously it's going to be really big. So again, more questions than answers after looking at this. <laughs> um, okay. All right. It is what it is, you know? Again, want to love it, but it's, it's just not happening for me. This, on the other hand, is this, yes, okay, yes, here for this, okay, relaxed fit pants with smocked waistband, literally, I've been having daydreams about this, I want them in linen, I want them in rayon, I want them in all the things, they are everywhere in all of, like, the boutiques and everything like that, and, of course, that stuff never fits me. Um, so I need to make my own. Definitely, definitely getting this. I don't even care what the pictures look like. I will make it work. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe that's too extreme. I'm getting overexcited. All right. <laughs> Smoked waistband, have draw ties, rolled cuffs, and side seam pockets, shorts, and midi skirt. Pants, shorts, and skirt have smocked waistband and pockets attached at waist and side seams. Okay. So let's zoom in. Oh, so it is a fun little pocket. Also something cuffed here. Wow, that is a very interesting pocket. Okay. So cute. Look at that. That's fun. It's like one, two, three. Can you slip things in all three of those sections? Not as effective on the skirt. I mean, but honestly, it looks really good on her. I'm looking at the crotch looks great. Like the length is, you know, decent. Um, this crotch curve looks really good. It's like an elasticated, elasticized waistband without being so clunky, you know? Like whenever you do like the smocking, it's just a more delicate elastic situation. Okay, love that. Genuinely love that. Did I miss the? Oh, no, here they are. Okay, so those are the line drawings, yes. And then here's the back. Batik, chambray, gauze, get them, linen blends, pop blends, soft cotton blends. You got it. Same, pretty much same fabrics throughout. Uh, lightweight wovens. And then elastic. Oh, it's a faux smock. No. Oh, I mean, I guess that's better than nothing, but or is it would it be easy just to where the where the casings are drawn in to do the true smocking? So annoying. That's not smocking. Oh. <laughs> so annoyed. Oh gosh. It's like they think that we're not smart and we don't know what is happening when we see that. Ugh, man. Man, oh man. Okay, well, either way, I'm going to figure out some smocked waistband. If you know of an indie pattern or anything else, or maybe, I, you know what, I bet there's even like a free tutorial somewhere. It cannot be complicated. It cannot be complicated. And you know what else I'm thinking of that would be so cute? That dress that had the really lot, really large midsection thing that only had like the few sizes. What if you um, cut out that center thing and smocked all that? That'd be really cute too. All right. Anyways, finished garment measurements. We have sizes six to eighteen. So this wouldn't even fit me anyways. This pants and shorts. <sighs> 36 and a half up to 45 and a half in the hip. That ain't happening. Even the skirt won't fit. So there, that says a lot about how restrictive. And I am not plus size. I am still wear straight sizes and ready to wear. Um, so that's just sort of wild. But I'm glad that's the last pattern because these last three have are about to send me over the edge. <laughs> But that is it. I'm curious to know what you guys think. I feel like we started out strong and then started to taper, 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 taper. Had a mini little bump up and then kind of fell flat toward the end. But honestly, Mimi's patterns are the best of the bunch. I don't always say that, but they look good. 
They're very on trend, very cute, very wearable, very sewable, all of that. Um, but I'm curious to know what you guys think. Leave a note in the comments section below. Um, I'm going to link to last, well, there wasn't one last week because of the sew along, but the most recent um, first impression that I did, linking to that here on the end slate. So click that if you want to watch another collection. But that's going to do it, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.